Hey Beep, Spider here from GameSun. Now today I wanted to make a video about some of the rarest ships that I found thus far. Because this last week I found a couple of really really rare ones. And I wanted to share this one with you guys. Now also what I wanted to do is to thank everybody for the support these last weeks. Because we added a couple of thousand subscribers to the channel. So we want to thank everybody that views our videos, that subscribed to us and everyone that liked our videos right now. Now I'm also not going to talk about interceptors because I already made a ton of videos about those. Now also I have a little bonus at the ending of this video right here. I'm going to show you where it is and what it is basically. So stick around till the end of the video. Let's go and check out the ships that I'm talking about right here. So here are the glyphs for our first ship. So take a screenshot or a pause. And my save beacon and com station should be over there. Let's go and check it out. The first ship I want to talk about is this one right here. Now the reason is because I did over 1600 jumps in total where I was just looking for other ships mostly and I was searching for a lot of interceptors also but I visited a lot of Viking systems and I was always looking for like really cool fighter ships. Now this week I've been only doing jumps uh, to like Viking and searching for fighter ships and I finally find this one. Now the reasoning for this one right here, why it's so rare is because it's got the two things here on top, the two big cables here. So it's pretty rare to find those already. Then the coloring is like fully yellow with a little bit of white here in the front. Now also the nose is pretty rare, but it's also the wings. This type of wings are also pretty rare on this ship. Now in all those jumps, the number of, of ships that I found with this color scheme is just this one right here. You know, I've never found like a one with like red and white or something like that or other colors. Or if I found one, it's like the front is like a different color than the back. That's why it's really, really rare. Now, currently I own one that's like purple, purpley bluish with like uh, silver. But this one is the first one that I found myself. I also had one before that was red and white, but I got rid of those ones because I need to do a lot of cheap videos. But yeah, they're pretty rare these ones to find those. Now for the location, it's sitting on plus 9.79 on minus 172.53 and I upgrade this one to an S-Class. Now the supercharged slots aren't the best in the game, but they're pretty okay, you know. You can basically connect like these 8 if you want to for maneuverability here. Here you can do also 8 for maneuverability or else it's going to be like these right here together and then these ones right here for like hyperdrive or maneuverability. Now here's how it looks in space, really really cool, it's my favorite ship in the game. Yeah, really slick. Looks really really fast this one here. Also if you fly it you can see like the small thrusters like also. It's got like 5 thrusters here in the back, really nice. So here are the glyphs for our second ship, so again take a screenshot or a pause. And my save beacon and comp station should be over there, let's check it out. Now the next ship I want to talk about is a squid ship right here, because I know how rare they are. They consider to be like only a 2% chance to come into like one of the planets. So yeah, I know they're pretty rare these ones right here. Now, I don't tend to think they are rarer than the one before, because the one before I was really aiming for for years and it's the only one I found. This is also the only one I found, but I wasn't really looking for this one. Uh, but yeah, still pretty cool ship, this one right here. Now, for the location, this one is at minus 26.73 on plus 84.99. And here's how it looks in space. Yeah, really nice, this one also. Blue and the green also seems to have like a yellowish shine yeah really nice so here it is for our third ship so again take a screenshot or a pause and my save beacon and come station should be over there check it out now as for the next ship it's gonna be this solar right here now the reasoning is because it's white and gold it's really unique this one also the sails are also gold like goldish yellow so yeah it's a really cool one this one it's also my favorite model here uh, as you can see here it's like cut in half here this one is open so i tend to like that a lot now it's my own opinion you know i tend to think they are really rare because also the, for the only one i ever found in the game 
as you can see it comes here pretty much you know you can see there's three here now and the location for this one is minus 37.36 and minus 171.30 and the supercharge slots they are pretty much here and pretty good space three you can connect these ones here this one is a part here yeah as you can see it looks really cool this one now it kind of looks blue sometimes i don't know why it tends to look a little bit bluish here also now i also already made a video about this one before it's like one of my first videos but i will put a link down below where you can basically check it out for yourself and then here the glyph for our fourth ship so we again take a screenshot or pause and my save beacon and come station should be over there let's check it out now this is gonna be our next one also a fighter here it's a really cool one it's got the yellow in the back here also it's got kind of grayish I'm guessing you can see it here in the front grayish with bronze going on really nice this one right here and then the location for this one is minus 50.39 and plus 173.91 so here you can see it really unique one pretty rare really cool looking this one and then for the supercharge slots uh, you're basically going to be able to connect these ones right here and then these two right here so here this for our fifth spaceship so again take a screenshot or pause And my save beacon and come station should be over there. Check it out. Now the next ship I want to talk about are these ones right here. Uh, now this one is one of the smallest fighter ships you can basically find in the game. Also it has one color, has no other color added to it. So it's basically the same as this one almost. Only this one is like one big thruster in the back and then the cables on top. But yeah, we're gonna check out this one. I think it's more like an orangey yellowish color kind of looked white before when I when I first saw it but yeah and then the location for this one is at plus 12.37 at minus 53.90 so yeah here you have it really small one got three thrusters in the back um, it's not my kind of ship but if you're interested you can come over here and get this one right here slots here pretty okay you can basically connect these three for everything together or just go like these two here and these two here so here are the glyphs for our sixth spaceship right here so again take a screenshot or a pause and my save beacon and come station ah, it should be over there check it out now for this one right here the coloring is really amazing you can see it here it goes from like lighter gray to like gray yellowish to yellow yeah really amazing this one also with the tie fighter wings here the, uh, like on top the little pipes here the big thruster in the back if you had this one in like the hot rod model this would be really amazing and also here you can see it the coloring is just crazy from this one and then also the supercharged slots are already pretty good at an a-class still need to upgrade this one now for the location it's at minus 10.66 as plus 129.74 you can see it in space yeah the colors just pop out man it's really really cool this one really unique never saw this color pattern before now for the supercharge slots it's a bummer that this one didn't come under here or like in the middle or something like that but yeah still pretty okay you can basically do these three here and then this one is apart or go these ones right here and then these two for something else and then here are the glyphs for our seventh and final ship now there's also some other ones that tend to land here but i will quickly showcase them also so take screenshot pause and then my save beacon and come station should be over there let's check it out now the next one i want to show is this white and gold v-wing right here the exotic here now it's not the only ship that lands here there are seven in total fighters that land here that's like a lot i've never seen that before like the most that i saw before was like four or five 
uh, but there's six of them are really really cool so I'm gonna do a quick showcase for you guys so you can see how they look you can also come get them here in the same location right here Now the location for this exotic ship and all the fighters is minus 30.84 on minus 40.94. As you can see, supercharged slot's pretty okay here. You see these two are connecting here, these two here. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, it's really cool. You know, you can basically connect these ones for hyperdrive range and maneuverability, all of them. Or you can just take these two and these two for something else. So here it is, yeah, pretty cool one, the white and the gold. They're always pretty unique to find one. But I tend to like the white and gold the most. I also think they're like the rarest ones out there. Now this is a bonus I wanted to show you peeps. So for this planet right here, take a screenshot or pause. Because this planet is a really, really amazing looking planet. It's not only a paradise planet, but it has one of the rarest species running around on it. So yeah, let's go and see if we can find one. And I'm talking about this species right here, the Diplo. It's one of the rarest creatures you can basically find. It only has a 0.25% chance to spawn on a planet, so that's like 1 in 400 planets. You can basically only find these ones right here. And this one is also really really colorful now that was it for the video peeps if it was helpful in any ways please do remember to leave a like and a sub all of that good stuff keep yourself safe and we will catch you on the next one laters